And on CCTV's Chinese language broadcast, the foreign ministry had even harsher words for the U.S. It expressed China's strong dissatisfaction over the issue, that interference in Chinese domestic affairs was totally unacceptable, and that the U.S. should punish those responsible. To tell us more about the Chen Guangcheng deal between the U.S. and China, we have Minky Warden with us today on Skype. She's the director of Global Initiatives for Human Rights Watch, and she's written a book about human rights in China called China's Great Leap. Thanks for joining us today, Minky. Thanks for having me. So what were the basic elements of the deal that was worked out between the U.S. and China over Chen's future? Uh, the basic elements were, the most important thing was that China himself wanted to stay in China. Um, he um, has wanted to attend law school. He's a self-taught lawyer. And the, the elements of the deal that was worked out was that he would be able to attend law school, that he would be reunited with his family, and the officials who have persecuted him and made his life a living hell for uh, since 2005 uh, would be investigated. And what happened to the deal? Is it in effect or did it fall apart? Uh, it's hard to say. A lot of what's happened uh, happened behind closed doors. Um, but what we do know is that Chun left the U.S. Embassy after six days and uh, was taken to a hospital. But it does seem from uh, reports uh, from his friends and from other supporters that things took an unpleasant turn there. At this point, is there any kind of clear idea of what's going to happen next and what Chen himself wants? I, I don't know that there is a clear idea of what is going to happen or what Chen wants, uh, but I, you know, I think it's useful to look at the history of this case. You know, this uh, this man uh, is a bit of a local folk hero in Shandong Province. Um, he represented uh, farmers in land rights cases. He um, worked for on disabilities rights issues, and then he took up the case that really brought him into conflict with the Chinese government the Chinese authorities, and that was relating to forced abortions and really brutal tactics by local officials. Um, what his overarching theme has been is helping citizens seek the justice that they are entitled to under Chinese law and under the Chinese constitution. This whole incident comes up at a very delicate time in U.S.-China relations. Uh, Secretary of State Clinton and Treasury Secretary Geithner are scheduled to meet with Chinese officials to talk about issues ranging from North Korea's nuclear program to opening up China's economy to U.S. goods. What impact has all this had in terms of how these companies have been handling the Chen affair? Well, I think it's uh, you know it's come at an inconvenient time for U.S.-China relations. But I've got to say the 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 Chen case goes to the heart of the topics that should be in the center of U.S.-China relations. And I think what we're talking about here is the rule of law, or rather in China, the lack of it. So any of the so-called strategic issues that the U.S. is going to be taking up with China, whether it's um, trade and contracts, or whether it's the environment and stopping environmental degradation, all of these things tie back to the legal system and the application of the rule of law in China. What's your assessment of how the U.S. has handled this whole incident, and what do you think uh, the Obama administration should be doing going forward? The top priority should be keeping him safe, keeping his supporters and the activists who made his daring escape possible safe, and um, uh, really uh, ensuring that uh, this case does not make his life even more difficult than it already has been. Thanks, Minky. Minky Warden is the Director of Global Initiatives for Human Rights Watch. You can learn more about her at Link Asia's website. Now on U.S. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.